Hey guys, welcome back to the JPM Performance Channel. We are on the dyno today with Mark Milligan. He's got his Lexus. Mark, tell us a little bit about this car. It's a 2003 Lexus IS300. Um, it's mostly stock. I just put a mild Brian Crower can in it. It's got fuel suspension coilovers and it has a 411 diff out of a Subaru BRZ, but otherwise pretty stock. Yeah, pretty stock. Uh, he's running in Na with NASA in the ST5 class. So. We're gonna get this thing classified today. Check this out. sitting for a period of time and it's actually pretty common when you run a car for the first pull before the engine oil is really warm and I kind of call it blowing out the cobwebs but this is very very common for your first pull to be a little bit lower. In NASA classifications you need to run three in a row so we had a 208, a 208 and a 210. This 210 is actually a bump here you can see right where the rev limiter is sometimes you'll get a horsepower bump um, but you can see the three curves are very close. Torque is all very close. So what does this car weigh? 3250. 3250. Pretty heavy car, but it makes good torque, good power. And uh, it looks like we've got a variable valve timing in this car of some sort. Yep. Um, so that's what this dip is here. That's why we get this big torque number. And then it was able to pull up at the top. And what they do with that is they're actually increasing the advance on the intake cam to get more torque down low and then retarding it as it gets up to the top. Now one more thing to note here, and Mark talked about potentially getting a, a standalone ECU, and I don't know if this is doing this because of the new camshaft, but you can see the red line here is 13 to 1 air fuel ratio. We're significantly richer than that above 4,000 RPMs all the way to the top. Now while that's safe, I can almost guarantee you if we were to bring this up closer to this red line, we'd probably pick up another 10 horsepower. So always interesting to see, and now we can fill out our average horsepower forms for the NASA classification, and uh, it'll be ready to go. A little bit warm here on the dyno today. Uh, it's about 101 degrees in Topeka, and it's probably about 110 here in the dyno room. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.